so this podcast has to do with balancing nuclear equations. And um, even for those of you that were not very good at balancing chemical equations, balancing nuclear equations is really much easier. So don't freak out quite yet if you don't get it. But um, like I said, this is much easier. So balancing nuclear equations. So when we balance nuclear equations, um, basically two things have to happen. Uh, so instead of having coefficients, so make sure that we have equal numbers, or not really numbers, but um, equal atomic numbers. Uh, atomic numbers are simply just our number of protons. So equal atomic numbers and equal mass numbers. And again, mass is protons plus neutrons. And if those are balanced, we're good. So the first thing we're going to do is, if we have um, polonium, which is a metal that's pretty far down there, it's bigger than 83, so it's radioactive, um, and we say polonium-212, and if we look on the periodic table, we'll find that polonium is an 84, so that's its, um, its isotope is 212. Um, and if I wanted to know the neutrons, we could take 212 minus 84, and that would give us our neutrons. But if we say polonium-212, forms lead 208. All right, so lead is PB. And if we look on the periodic table, it is 82. So it's really the last element that's considered not radioactive. All right, so if we go back and see what we have to do, uh, and we want to say what else is formed. So we're going to kind of fill in what thing goes right there. All right, so if we look on this side, notice we have 84 protons on the reactant side, and we have 82 protons on the product side. So we know this thing has to have an atomic number of 2. Similarly, we have 212 total protons and neutrons, and over here we have 208 total protons and neutrons. All right. So because of that, our change in um, mass number is going to have to be 4. So we have these two numbers, we really have two more protons, and it must be two more neutrons as well, because again, mass number and atomic number are going to have to be equal to each other. So to fill this in, we're just going to fill this in with a helium, and a question might be, what type of decay is this? All right, so the answer to that would be, this is alpha decay. All right, based on the fact that what we get when we solve this has a mass number of four and an atomic number of two. So another example might be, um, cesium-137, and cesium symbol is CS. If we look on the periodic table, we'll find that its um, atomic number is 55. And we're just going to say that cesium decomposes. When it decomposes, or when it decays, it decays into barium-137. And barium, we're going to find, has a atomic number of 56. So again, we want to know what we form, so we're going to basically fill in the blank. So we have 55 protons on the left, but we have 56 protons on the right, all right? Which means our net is negative 1, because minus 1 plus 56 equals 55, all right? Um, so we gained a proton somehow, so our particle is going to have to take care of that gain and not have anything. And on the top, notice our mass number stay the same, so our mass number doesn't change. And hopefully you'll recognize that a 0 minus 1 is an electron. So the type of decay is a beta decay. And again, you should have seen this in our previous podcast, but gamma, gammas are 0, 0. So again, they don't really work in nuclear equations. Um, another way we might ask this is, um, what, um, what element do you get? from the beta decay, the beta decay of arsenic 78. And arsenic has an atomic number of 33. And whenever it's a beta decay, we're going to put our arrow automatically, but we know that the thing that we make is 0 minus 1. And we might write it as a beta particle, or we could write it as an electron as well. And then what we're going to add to that is 78 equals, think of the error sign as an equal, 0 plus what? 78. And then the bottom is 33. 
equals minus 1 plus what? It's going to be 34. So if we look on the periodic table to find what this is, we find that it is selenium. All right? And that is simply balancing nuclear equations.